Welcome to Homework Answers. We're going through the textbook Programming Logic and Design, 8th edition by Joyce Farrell, and in this video we're covering Chapter 3, Exercise 3. Uh, what this problem is asking is that you take all of those um, flowcharts that you did in Exercise 2. In the previous video, you'll see those flowcharts kind of corrected, and take those corrected flowcharts and make pseudocode out of them. So, um, if you look here, I've got, you know, a flowchart, B flowchart, C flowchart, D and E. And um, I guess I really don't have to spend too much time on this. You can pause the video and check it out. Um, you know, I'm taking from the flowcharts that you know I remade, and um, that's my interpretation of how they should be corrected. And then I'm making pseudocode off of those. So you'll see that. I mean. You've got your start and stop for each of them. You've got steps, while, you know, end whiles, ifs. You know, make sure you put in those end ifs. But um, yeah, just kind of look this over, and you can pull up the uh, previous video if you need to have a, a reference to those flowcharts, and you know, kind of have a separate document open to where you can look at the video and look back to this and do what you have to do. Um, you know, if you think that uh, there's something wrong with the way I've set this up and there might be something that you want to change, then you'll at least be able to do that, you know, having that video up and then a separate document. So um, just kind of look this over and this can be a good start for you, um, a good guideline, and uh, you can work through it how you see fit. But yeah, that's a uh, basically it. I mean, that's what the way the pseudocode is going to look, and all of these are taken from the flowcharts in the previous video, so um, I'll just scroll up to the top real fast again, and scroll here, C, D, and E. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.